Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's probably my most requested video that I've ever gotten questions and comments on. Literally the video that for the past four years, you guys have been asking me to do, and today is the day I deliver. It is my top five no maintenance crochet hair. Now I didn't say low, I said no maintenance. I mean, literally you put nothing into this hair and this hair gives you everything in return. Now when I say this is my most requested, I try a lot of hairs on this channel. If you're not familiar with my channel, first hit that subscribe button, but I've tried 40 hairs probably on this channel over the four years that I've had this channel. Some high maintenance, some medium maintenance, some low maintenance and some no maintenance. And some of you guys have been like, can you just put all those no maintenance in a category for me? That would be great. Thank you. And I decided 2020 is that year. One, because I didn't give you guys a swim friendly hair because I know y'all not going to no beaches this year. And two, because I'm not doing a rankings video this year because if you've been following my channel, you guys know how I feel about a lot of the brands that I've used to review heavily for, but I decided Decided, since I'm not doing rankings and you guys know I made a commitment to trying black owned black supported or you know hairs that you can find at black beauty supply stores going forward on my channel today would be a perfect cherry on the top to address all 40 hairs that I've tried throughout this channel throughout my journey of trying crochet hair for the past four years talking about the brands that may not be featured on my channel going forward like the sensationals the outrays the free trust and all that so today's video is my top five no maintenance crochet hair let's get into it now the first hair you guys should know was going to make this list is that Harlem 125 soft dread hair now again a hair that not a lot of people are going to like because that hair is a distinct curl pattern I vibe with it well because I wore it last year so October I think it was September time frame when I was heavy in my recruiting so you guys know full-time I do campus recruiting which requires a lot of travel which required me to be gone a lot of the work week and then only home for the weekends I needed something that I had to put nothing into but still look great for weeks of wear and that's what that Harlem 125 Kima soft dread hair was it was a hair that I got seven weeks of wear out of that product touched it pineapple did constantly constantly throughout the wear you guys know pineappling is me just pulling the hair up at the top going to sleep that way and waking up in the morning sometimes at 5 6 a.m. which is not you know my regular wake up time for me getting up in the morning and still looking great and still you know having to put no maintenance into my hair that was an incredible no maintenance hair if I didn't have this channel and I did still have a lot of traveling to do you guys know I work from home now if I still had that same travel schedule I might would do soft dread again during times where I have peak travel but again ain't no traveling going on so soft dread may not enter the conversation again but again it was a hair that I very much so liked because it gave me the ability to do nothing in the morning do nothing for seven weeks with that hair now the next hair that of course has to make this list I don't know whether to separate these hair out or put them together but I'm deciding I'm gonna put them together and it's going to be that free tress water wave hair and that free tress bohemian braid simply because they are so similar they are so similar they look a little different when sometimes I'm looking at pictures I can of course identify myself whether I'm wearing water wave and bohemian braid because of years of doing this I just know what shirt I had on in the bohemian braid video but they look so similar just you know in context the one thing about it I'd say is water wave is a little bit tighter than bohemian braid but not much difference between those two hair but the thing they do have in common is very much so the fact that you don't have to put a lot of effort into those hairs I know water wave is predominantly a lot used now the longer version for passion twist and it's for good reason because it's a hair that can withstand a lot and look consistent good and work well in your no maintenance scenarios I think I may have at least applied a little bit of mousse to both hair but it wasn't required for me to do so it was just something that I felt like I needed to do looking back on it I think I could have not used a single drop of product and it wouldn't have looked bad at all wearing it short especially to water wave I did wear long it was during my phase where every hair was gonna get worn long on this channel if I was wearing a hair it was long and now looking back if I had just shortened it throughout the wear would have had no issues with that hair 
same thing goes with Bohemian Braid. Very short style. Very much so you're going to have to do nothing. And again, let me preface everything I'm saying. I should have said this at the top of the video. Everything I'm saying is my opinion, one. And two, it's my experience. Again, I have no dog in the fight. I get no kickbacks if you buy any of the hairs that I talk about right now. So everything is my experience. And every hair that I say, I have a full review on. So you can see me through the weeks wearing this hair in vlog style. I'm not somebody who wears a hair for one day and brings you that commentary. If you're familiar with my channel, I wear hair for five, six, seven weeks on this channel and bring you guys what my realistic reviews are of these. I think both Free Tress, Water Wave, and Bohemian Bray are going to be your perfect hair if you do want something that is no maintenance, something good for workouts, something good for water, and all that. Now the next hair that of course is going to make this list are going to be your lock styles. So I have tried the Free Tress Hipster Lock on this channel as well as the Jenna Collection Havana Mambo Faux Locks on this channel. Now the thing about me is I don't like trying braided styles or box braid styles a lot on this channel just because I love the fact that I get to experiment with loose hair and see if it's low maintenance and see if it's high maintenance and work out my feelings over the you know a course of a few weeks. The thing about faux locks and if you've watched both my lock videos they're very short videos because they're very low maintenance. There's nothing exciting about trying a lock style. I can wear a lock style for seven weeks, eight weeks, however long and it's just gonna look the same every single day and that's so great. Who doesn't want a hairstyle that's gonna look the same every single day but when you're somebody who's like trying to bring some spice to the channel looking consistently the same for seven weeks isn't like my jammy jam jam but if you're somebody who doesn't have a channel a lot of you guys who watch me don't also make youtube content and you're looking for something no maintenance in your regular life those two lock styles and probably any lock style is going to be your go-to do you no wrong type of a hairstyle now the next hair has to make this list because of you guys you guys have made this hair better than what it is when I reviewed it on my channel. Now, literally the Free Tress Beach Curl, again, was a hair that I really liked, but I didn't go up for it the way you guys have. I can tell you probably at least once every other day, I get a DM from you guys on my Instagram. So not even a comment on a video, a DM from you guys. Like you changed my life when you reviewed Free Trash Beach Curl. You went off with Free Trash Beach Curl. And I was like, I didn't even know what I was doing with Free Trash Beach Curl. Free Trash Beach Curl is a hair honorable mention because you guys have literally said that is no maintenance. Like Talia, I think you put that in your low maintenance category. Change it, girl. Change it to low maintenance because that hair required nothing from me. Now it might've required a little bit more for me because I did wash that hair throughout my wear and some of you guys may be washing it too. I think it was still my early phases. I think I was what one year of creating content at that time. So maybe I didn't. That was a hair that I was like maybe I need to retry it back when I was like you know still giving the big brands my time and my efforts and I'm not doing that anymore. But I have to say Free Tress Beach Curl is probably a hair that you guys just has been three years. Literally three years has passed since I reviewed that hair hair and you guys constantly come back and be like but you ain't talking about free trust beach curl like you need to raise up the rank of free trust beach curl that is no maintenance again for me I still want to say low maintenance, but I have to put this in no maintenance because you guys have figured out the tricks and tips to really make it in the no maintenance category. So Free Trust Beach Curl, I love the hair. I love the color of it. When I look back on it, it's been three years. So I'm like, I've tried so much in between. Did I not give it what I should have given it? But you guys have reminded me day in and day out, Free Trust Beach Curl, girl, give it its flowers now. Give that hair its flowers and I'm giving it today. And the next hair on this list has to be the Lulu Trust Island Twist hair. Now that hair, I don't think gets its flowers as much. Like I can watch and look at the analytics of my review videos. And I think that video, I'm not the most proud of because it was hurricane season that year. A lot of my footage is like super dark in that video. So it was raining every single day. I think it was September of 2018 when I reviewed that hair. Crazy, crazy hurricane season month for us. We had like two, I think Matthew hit us and Florence I think hit us that year. So my video is very dark, um, but it was a very rainy, rainy again, couple months. That hair got wet so often, especially with me at the time, having my dog Fluffy at that time, walking her through the hurricane. And that dog was like just running and the rain, hurricane rain, it just hits you at different angles. And again, the fact that I had to do nothing to that hair really is why it needs its flowers. And again, that was 2018's campus recruiting season. So I wasn't campus recruiting as hard as I was in, in 2019 because I had 
hadn't got the official title. Like my job wasn't campus recruiting. I was in a trial period. So I went to a couple of campuses that year. And again, looking back in those photos from that year at my campus recruiting events, hair still looked really good. I was still looking good at every event that I went to with that Lulu Trust Island twist. Ironically enough, I choose these hairs at random. I didn't choose it because I knew it was gonna be good beforehand. I didn't watch any videos on it and I knew it was gonna be low maintenance. I and mean, I knew it was gonna work for my travels, but somehow ironically, it worked really well for my travels. So again, if you need to put no maintenance into a hair, that Lulu Trust Island twist hair was really good for that season. And then honorable mention, I have to talk about the hair I have in right now. I will be remiss if I did not address the hair that I have in right now. It is the Curl Refinery, a black owned business. It is their Island twist hair literally loving this hair it is no maintenance now it's only been one week so again make sure you're subscribed and locked in so you can see the actual review for this maybe it doesn't end up being low maintenance but i have a good feeling I haven't put any product in this hair and it's phenomenal it's giving me no troubles at all it is fairly expensive but you know with the price i do expect to put no maintenance into it so i've done nothing gone to sleep woke up and this is what it looks like one weekend Again, stay locked in and stay tuned into my channel to make sure that you see that review video. But those have been my most no maintenance hair. Now, if a hair didn't make this list, it just means it's low maintenance maybe, it's medium maintenance. Make sure you check out the review video if you have a question about a specific hair. But these are my no maintenance. Then again, everything I say in this video is my opinion. If you have some no maintenance hair, and again, no maintenance hairs make sure you listen down below in the comment section to help other you know sisters out who are looking for a no maintenance option make sure that you guys do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure that you guys are following me on instagram at leahlevon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye Tell me, don't be